Today we're having a look at this and this is a keyboard with a key problem. And the problem with this is that one of the keys is producing a louder note than the others. So to give you an example, this is a normal key. And these keys are velocity sensitive, so the harder you hit them, the louder the note is. And the key that's got the problem is actually the one just next to that key, this one here. So if we just press it down gently, we can hear it's a lot louder than this one. Now as I understand it, each set of keys has two contacts on it. The first contact tells the piano when the key's been pressed down, and the second contact is used to work out how hard the key has been pressed. So my guess is that one of these contacts is dirty and I'm going to take this thing apart and give the contact a bit of a clean up and see if we can get it working properly again. Let's go ahead and do that now. And this thing certainly has a lot of screws to take out. wants to come off really. All those speakers have got a bit of dust in them, haven't they? Let's have a look inside here. I think we can guess which is the power amp part of this. Probably this nice chunky bit there. Some sort of a TDA amp or something similar. I might give all this a bit of a blowout as well with an air duster. But the bits we're interested in will be underneath here. So again, that could be um, that could be interesting. Let's put that down there. It looks like these are all in sections as well. Now, of course, if I'd been half sensible, I'd have marked up the key that was um, was faulty. Let's go and do that then. And by the power of jump cuts, it's that key there, which looks like it belongs to kind of uh, this block here. So I'm going to take that screw out, that screw out, that screw out, and that screw out. And then hopefully, I guess we can get to the mechanism. I don't know. We might have to take the whole thing out. I'm not really sure.
quite sure how this comes out. It looks like this, this whole section pops out. Ah, oh, there we go. So just wiggle that off. And here are the switches underneath here. I might just have to plug it back in again to make sure I get the right one. So the one that needs cleaning is this one up at the end here. Let's take those off. So all I'm going to do is just give it a bit of a clean with some deionized water and um, see if that fixes it. And the reason we're using deionized water is that it doesn't contain the impurities that tap water does. And the water around where I live is particularly hard, full of chalk, so that would be no good for this. It would probably just corrode it and then it would die. Let's get a nice close up of that. So we'll just give um, all those contacts a bit of a clean up. We'll literally just run this across them. All the way across both rows. Like so. And then I'm doing, going to uh, clean up this strip. Just give that a bit of a clean out as well. These little knobbly bits that are in there, they're at different heights. So I'm guessing that's how it knows how hard the key's being pressed. I guess it's a timing thing between the two contacts, perhaps. I'm not an expert in, uh, in these things, but that would kind of make sense. But it won't have been cleaned since it was made, and I think it's quite an old quite an old keyboard so um, hopefully that will be a little bit happier now and we're just going to put the uh, the button strip back in now like so that looks good and while it's opening I'm going to give it a blow And we'll just put these uh, back in again to make sure. And now we're going to put these back on here. Like so. And we will see if it's any better. So let's see if that key's any better then. 
Lovely. So that is now the same level as the rest of the keys. So that looks like it's fixed. Nice easy fix. Not too tricky to take apart, although you do have to remove those extra screws that are in the middle channel uh, along the bottom as well. So the ones that kind of screw into there from the underside or it won't all come out. But apart from that, wasn't really that wasn't really that difficult to take apart in the end. So I'm going to put this back together and uh, consider that a job well done. And now it's back together. Let's uh, give it a check just to make sure it's still okay. I'm sure it is. And they are both the same level. Excellent. So yeah, completely fixed. If you've enjoyed watching me sort out a massive organ, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.